When you study a certain kind of differential equation, for example, a first order linear differential equation, it's often helpful to have in mind a physical system which would be modeled by that differential equation. So I'll introduce now a model for a mixing process, and this mixing process will be modeled by a first order linear differential equation. So suppose that I have a tank full of salty water, I'll call it brine. Now into the tank is flowing more brine, and depending on the problem, it might be saltier or less salty or the same saltiness. Now out of the tank is pouring a perfect mixture of what's in the tank already and what's pouring into the tank. Now let's quantify all of these things. So let's say that the brine flows into the tank at a rate of R in, and it has a concentration, a salt concentration of C in. And the brine flows out of the tank at a rate of R out, and it has a concentration of C out. Let's give names to two more quantities. Let's call X of T the amount of dissolved salt in the tank. So the total amount of salt dissolved in this brine. And let's call V of T the total volume of the brine. Now these two quantities are changing in time. V of T, for instance, may be changing if the rate in is different from the rate out and x of t will of course be changing because mixed brine is flowing out meanwhile other brine maybe saltier or maybe less salty is flowing in so the total quantity of salt in the tank will be changing our model will be a model for the amount x of t of dissolved salt in the tank and we will find that it is a first order linear differential equation for x now how could we come up with such a model well Let's consider a small time interval delta t, and let's try to write down what the total change in the amount of salt is over that small time interval, and let's call that delta x. So, well, what is delta x? How does the amount of salt change over a tiny time interval delta t? Well, in a tiny time interval, a certain amount of salt flows in, and a certain amount of salt flows out. And it's not too hard to deduce that the total change in the amount of salt will simply be the amount that flowed in minus the amount that flowed out. Now how do we determine how much flows in and how much flows out? Well we know the rate at which brine flows in and we know the concentration of salt in that brine. Knowing these two quantities we actually know the rate at which the salt flows in. It's C in times R in. For example, if the rate in is one gallon per minute and the concentration in is one gram per gallon then the rate at which salt flows in is C in times R in, which is one gram per minute. So same goes for out, the rate out. So the rate of salt flowing out is C out times R out. So we know the rate at which salt flows in, and we know the rate at which salt flows out. So how do we figure out the total amount of salt that flowed in and the total amount that flowed out over the time interval delta T? Well, we multiply by delta T. So the total amount of salt that flows in over that small time interval delta t is C in times R in times delta t. And we subtract the total amount that flowed out during that time interval, which is C out times R out times delta t. Now, this is not yet a differential equation, but we're considering a little tiny time interval delta t. So we can turn it into a differential equation by dividing both sides by delta t and letting delta t go to zero, so taking the limit as delta t goes to zero. So that quantity delta x divided by delta t becomes dx dt, and dx dt is equal to c in times r in minus c out times r out. Now, what we've got here looks pretty good, but uh, it doesn't look like a differential equation yet. On the left-hand side, I have dx dt, and on the right-hand side, I have these funny things c in, r in, c out, r out. So let's see if we can make this look like a differential equation. And to do that, let's consider the following question. What quantities on the right-hand side do you control, and which do you not control? So let me explain what I mean. Suppose that before we begin to conduct this mixing experiment, we mix up a bucket of brine off to the side ahead of time. And that's the brine that I'm going to pour into the tank. So by mixing it ahead of time, I got to control the concentration in. I got to control C in. And by pouring it into the tank, I got to control R in. On the other hand, maybe I can open and close the valve for this drain pipe going out. So maybe I get to control R out. 
On the other hand, I have no control whatsoever over C out. C out is determined purely by the quantity of salt in the tank and the volume of the brine in the tank. And how do you determine that? Well, you want to know what the concentration out is, so you divide the total amount of salt by the total volume. That gives you the amount of salt per unit of volume, x of t over v of t. Now, that's exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. We want to incorporate x into this right-hand side. So by plugging in c out equals x of t divided by v of t, we get an ordinary differential equation for x of t. And that is dx dt equals c in times r in minus r out times x of t over v of t. Depending on the problem, we will be able to figure out what c in, r in, r out, and v of t are. And in order to find x of t, we'll need to solve this linear first order differential equation.